Welcome to the first video of the second series of the Pacific series. Yeah? This will be a practice to work on the breath. For us, the breath, when we are practicing, the breath is the most important thing. And so it's important to be able to feel the breath. So have some awareness of the breath, but it's also important to be able to play with the breath and have um, freedom for the breath. So in this um, session, we're going to work on these aspects of the breath, so you can connect with the super physical aspects, but also subtler and subtler and vibrational aspects of the breath as well. And we're going to start with the beginning which is the movement of the breath. We're going to do it by laying down. So welcome to find your breath. Lay down in your regular Shavasana. Rolling the feet open, palms facing up, stays under your armpits. Ah, let the whole body rest. You can exhale through the mouth. The body softening, and then there is only the movement of the breath. on the ground, hands on your belly. You want to feel the movement that happens in the abdomen with the breath. So observing the diaphragmatic or abdominal breath. Simply keep your space of observation here. That's what you want to feel. also to the sensation of observing that breath. What is the atmosphere, the tone, the mood, the emotion that comes with this type of breath? The breath on your belly, on your kidney, on your abdomen. want you to connect, to be aware of the dimensions of the breath, of the dimensions of the abdominal breath. How does it feel? and bring the hands to your ribs and start observing the movement of the breath here in your rib cage. Feeling the expansion of the abdomen of the thoracic valve with the inhalation. And then the contraction of the abdominal of 
sorry, of the thoracic bell with the exhalation. That's the only part of the body that you're observing. Why is the tone, the emotion, the mood, the atmosphere, the weather, the color, the taste, the smell of this thoracic breath? Last one, really long. Nice. Now we're going to use the retention after the exhalation to send the diaphragm. Now let's first feel the diaphragm a little bit. So what we're going to do is arms up, grab with the hands the opposite, with each hand the opposite shoulder, elbow, sorry, bring the elbows, the arms back. In this posture you can feel this big muscle that separates the thoracic, the rib cage and the abdomen cage, yeah? And this big muscle moves downwards with the inhalation, creating space for the lungs, and then moves upwards with the exhalation, squeezing the lungs and, lungs and pushing the air out through your mouth. This is a nice posture to feel this muscle. And as I said before, awareness is an important part of finding the breath. This would be the physical awareness of the main breathing muscle. The abdomen ascends with the exhalation under the ribs, and then the diaphragm and the diaphragm, and then the diaphragm descends with the inhalation towards the pelvis. 
observe the exhalation, the movement of the diaphragm towards the ribs, even hiding under the ribs, which creates a sensation of emptiness, of void in your stomach. This void sensation, that's the one that we want to activate in the next exercise, which is called Udiana breath, Udiana Banda. We're gonna do it now. So stretch the legs, flex the feet, interlace the thumbs, arms hanging back over the head. After exhaling, without inhaling, no air in the lungs at all, we will push the diaphragm a little bit more towards the ribs and we will kind of create a void in the stomach. All these will sink, yeah? I'm removing my t-shirt so you can see. It's after exhaling. Exhale and Uriana Vanda. Inhale. Third time. Exhale and Uriana Vanda. the left leg, stretch the left arm, bend the right 
right leg, then the right arm with the fingers pointing down. We want to create space here. We want to arch the side of the body. So we will shift the weight towards the left side. But one limitation, the only limitation is the knee. The knee needs to keep facing up towards the sky. There is no moving of the knee towards the left. Let's do it with a breath. Inhale, arch. Exhale, down. Inhale, arch. Exhale, down. Inhale, arch. Exhale, down. Inhale, arch. Exhale, down. Once more. Inhale, arch. Arch, 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 arch. Exhale down. Beautiful. Let's change sides. Inhale, arch. Exhale down. In. Ex. In. the crossing of the legs so you see the uncomfortable way which we usually don't do and one of the other things that we do in yoga is to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations so we learn how to be comfortable within this comfort good feel the breath there's already a lot of space there let's create more Marjari Asana, seated Marjari Asana. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. You can start breathing in Ujjayi here. Ujjayi breath is when we make a noise, a sound, when inhaling and exhaling through the nose. But the noise is not in the nose, but in the throat. Beautiful, stop the movement. Lengthen the spine, interlace the fingers, shoulders down, keep the spine really long while sending the arms up here. Make sure that the lower back is not arching or the ribs are not opening. Keep the long spine. Let's do a really shy Udhyanavanda after the exhalation. And bring the arms down. We're going to do the same, but changing the crossing of the fingers. And while we do Uriana, we're going to do also Mula Vanda, pelvic floor towards the inside of the body. Exhale and Uriana and Mula Vanda. Right on top of your knees, slide the hands forward, 
Soften your shoulders, stretch your arms, forehead on the ground here. You want to stay soft enough, so you allow the breath to work on the posture. Here the breath is really interesting to work on the posture. With the exhalation, you will feel the spine arching more, the heart sinking more towards the ground. With the inhalation, you will allow for the ribs to expand, the thoracic bell expanding. So 
toes, a little bit of a back bend, open your arms, don't throw your head back. And then slowly come, combing your arms with the hands, bringing the heels down. And then give yourself a breath or two to enjoy the yamanas of the moment, the subtle dimensions of the breath. Good. Spread the legs wider than your hips. We're going to work on the Anavanda a little bit closely so you have a deeper experience of this really important Vanda. Remember, the diaphragm that separates thoracic space and abdomen is moving and kind of hiding under the ribs after exhaling, and that creates kind of a void in all the stomach. Yeah? So exhale everything. Third round. Yeah, and then close your eyes in Tadasana. Sasana, the tree, as a balancing posture today. The foot will go either inside of your knee or farther up on your thigh. This is a posture that what requires from us is moving in two opposite directions. One, rooting down towards the pelvis, leg and floor, um, um, sole of the foot down towards the center of the earth. And the other one, going up in search for light. Mm -hmm. These two movements are happening at the same time. That creates a lot of energy and a lot of space. And the breath is an expression of both the energy and the space. So I want you to find the space, move in opposite directions, and then use all that space with your breath. But try to feel not only the physical aspects of this breath, but also the subtler aspects, the currents moving from one part to the other. Prana, life force, energy. Down. Tada, 
Shavasana. Just feel. That's the other one. Create space. Drop the shoulders. Now, we're moving in opposite directions. There is this downward movement towards the center of the earth, rooting you down. There is this upward movement towards the light, connecting you to the source. And there is all the space that that creates and all the energy that that creates. And all of it is breath. So feel the breath here, from the most physical aspects to the subtler aspects of it. These vibrations throughout the body. Beautiful, hands at the level of the heart to feel the heart blossoming. Stay here, but feel the connection with everything else. Okay, let's go for the last sequence. Open your eyes, move to the top of your mat, step with the left leg back, roll the pelvis, engage the abdomen, inhale, bring the hands back, and then shoulder blades together, the shoulder blades are kissing. Now, engaging the abdomen, you will pull the hands farther down, which creates more space between pubic bone and ribs, and at the same time the ribs are opening, there is no discomfort in your lower back. Okay, now open the throat a little bit without pulling the head too far back. We don't want to close the cervicals, and then feel the breath. Both in the belly and the ribcage. Beautiful. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, lengthening the spine until the hands reach the ground. Square the hips and then give yourself time. Softening with each exhalation so the torso can get closer to the left. Use the breath in the posture to soften, to find a, a more fluid texture. Slide the back foot farther back, turn the heel to the ground, and then bring the body up. Let's interlace the fingers again. Protect the lower back, engage the lower abdomen, and now pull the arms back, shoulder blades kissing, and now folding inside of the right leg, bending the right leg, dropping the head, arms away. A little bit more flexibility for your intercostals, your paravertebrals. Ah, so the breath gets freer and freer. More freedom for the breath. Beautiful. Inhale up. Left hand on the thigh. Right arm up. Create space on the right side. Feel the breath on the right lung. Maybe even on the right nostril more than on the left. That's the magic of energy. Breath. Moving with the body and the other way around. Good, and then exhale, back foot to the front. Open your 
eyes, legs to the other leg, protect the lower back, clack. Inhale, arms at the back, shoulder blades together, and then open a little bit more, create more space between pubic bone and rib cage, protecting the lower back. Now, open the throat a little bit, but don't close your head back, closing the cervicals. Feel the expansion of the inhale, the softness of the exhale. Stay with the breath, both in the belly and in the rib cage. Mm. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, move forward, fall. Here, you want to give yourself time. And you want to use the breath. Soften. Ah. It's like you want to be more water here. Yeah? That's the texture. It's kind of a watery texture. the back foot farther back, turn the heel, bring the body up, protect the lower back, interlace the fingers, inhale, open the heart, and then exhale, drop the body right inside of the left leg. You don't want to be here, not interesting. You want to be here and drop it now. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Inhale up, Whew. open the left side, feel the breath on the left lung, maybe even the left nostril, because there is a connection between the movement in the body and the breath. But that's a theme for another, another video. We will do that. Bring the back leg to the front. And feel. And then feet together. Sit. Try to keep the heels down. And then transition to Anamuka. And then down to the ground. <clears throat> then Rasana, full posture. Close the gap under your hips. And then inhale, feet away from your butt. The breath in your belly. And then the breath in your ribcage. Final twist, lengthen and twist. Change sides. And now sit cross-legged. We're gonna do Square breath, two rounds. Inhale in four. Hold for four. Exhale in four. Hold. 
hold for four. In. Hold. X. natural breath. Feel all the space and freedom you have created. Mm. Turn the palms up and enjoy everything that becomes available with This has been a pretty long session, so you could just stay here and meditate for 10 minutes because it's the perfect time to do it. Or if you want a little bit more of action, you can skip this sitting and go to the second 